I enlisted in the Marine Corps in 1990. Worked my way up to a gunner. Uh, went over to uh, Somalia. Me and my crew actually got pretty lucky because the engine took most of the blast, but the concussion from the blast knocked everybody that was on the right side of the vehicle to the left side of the vehicle. There was an elbow injury, there was an arm injury, there was a couple other scrapes and bruises, and that's where I got my TBI because it smacked me up against the wall. You gotta change everything. I mean, you might have been able to do something before and not even think about it. And that when you try to do that exact same thing, you got to change the whole way that you do it because your body will not react the way it was before the concussion of the blast from the IEDs. I was at a point where I didn't, I, I really didn't want to do anything because it was actually, it, it hurt or I was afraid I was going to mess something up worse. DAV and the VA put this on so we can bring veterans and people closer together, get them out of the house, get them moving, get them active, get them to doing, trying new things. And that's what this is all about. It's about getting them out of the house, getting them active and everything, but it's about having fun. It's actually gonna help you in the long run. Minimally, physically, it's, it's just that kind of game. When I met Bob, he asked me to, if I wanted to take his shot. And I said, sure, I'll try, but I'm not a good golfer. He says, I'll help you. He helped me through the whole process. And he's very good at helping his teammates, veterans helping veterans. That's what this event is about. And he's a fantastic example of that. That's why he's so deserving of the DAB Freedom Award here at the Golf Clinic. It's one of those games that you love to hate. You make the greatest shot at one hole, and then you can go, like, say you make a great shot at six. And then all of a sudden you're going to seven, and you just, pluck, you just, you just blow it. And you get so upset, and then you gotta calm yourself back down and remember to breathe. It's in the sand trap where I put the last one. When you hit that perfect shot, all the frustration goes away. It's like everything just disappeared for that shot. You look forward to the next hole until you get to the end hole, and then you do it all over again. 